This morning we celebrate the feast of St. Lawrence, who became a very famous and very important saint in history. You'll recall four days ago, we, we celebrated the feast of St. Sixtus II and his companions, Pope St. Sixtus. And uh, they were martyred at the same time in the year 258. But St. Lawrence was martyred four days later. He was one of the Pope's seven deacons. And the deacons held a great deal of power in the Church of Rome. It was they who distributed the alms that had been given to the poor so that they could sustain themselves. So he knew all the poor in the city of Rome, and there were many. When he was martyred, he was said famously to have been martyred by, um, by being put on a grill and grilled over fire. And his, the famous quip that he said was that I'm done on this side. Can you imagine? But they murdered him because they wanted him to provide, they wanted him to give them the wealth of the church. And he said, you want the wealth of the church? Here's the wealth of the church. And all the poor people were there. They, they were witnesses to his martyrdom. It was 50 years after that that, Saint, that, that, uh, that the Emperor Constantine built a church on the place of Lawrence's death, and he was always held in higher esteem than either Pope St. Sixtus or, or any of the other companions probably because of his great compassion for the people of Rome. And so we remember St. Lawrence and all of our deacons who served the church so, so generously and graciously as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins. Lord, you were sent to heal us. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners into oneness. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us always at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Sorry, I forgot my prayer, yeah. Let us pray. Actually, this morning is a, a feast rather than just a memorial. So, uh, since it is a feast, we will say the, uh, the Gloria again. Because of the importance of St. Lawrence historically in the church. So, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, giver of that ardor of love for you, by which St. Lawrence was outstandingly faithful in service, 
and glorious in martyrdom. Grant that we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each must do as already determined, without sadness or compulsion. God loves a cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all you need, you may have an abundance of every good work. As it is written, he scatters abroad, he gives to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. The one who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your need and increase the harvest of your righteousness. The word of the Lord. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His prosperity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice, he shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. An evil report he has not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steadfast. He shall not fear till he looks down upon his foes. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of fire, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Thank you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it. And whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me. 
And where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So our readings this morning are certainly chosen for the feast in that they reflect that generosity that I mentioned at the beginning of Mass that St. Lawrence uh, exemplified so fully. And it's funny, uh, if we look at writings from other c cultures and societies from the ancient times, uh, we, our Old Testament reading this morning is from Psalms, Psalm 112. If we look at comparable writings about the virtues that people should have, say, among the Greeks or among the, uh, the Syrians or the, or, or the Persians, we don't find things like this talking about blessed is the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. We don't hear such things. For them, it's the virtues of warfare and 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 uh, of honor, of 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 being wealthy in order to be honorable, and so forth. Here, beginning in the Old Testament, we have a completely different teaching because of. The relationship that the people of Israel had with their with with their God, with God the Father. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. And this, of course, comes to its fullness in in Jesus, who exemplifies more than anything and anyone the ancient virtues of the Old Testament. He has nothing to do with the Roman or the Greek virtues of his day. He's a humble man who gives, who heals and cures others. And so St. Lawrence models himself on Jesus. He is without reproach. He is without suspicion. The Pope trusts him completely. And he deserves that trust. And he gives what is received without, ha without trying to buy any influence or, or have any uh, agenda of his own. But of course, just like all the other martyrs, St. Lawrence who after all is a very early martyr. He died only in the year 258 before, well, before the canon of the, of the Bible was agreed upon and things like that. He, um, he died a martyr like so many were dying around him. He, in other words, martyr of course means witness. He died a witness. Witness to what? Well, he bore witness. He, he witnessed to the faith. He witnessed to the love that God has for us that goes beyond death. And he did that by dying the same way Jesus died. An innocent man who was put to death most cruelly. In that, we have his holiness, we have his sanctity, his sainthood. In the early church, the only saints that we really claimed were saints were those who died as witnesses to Christ, those who died as martyrs. It was much later that we began to acknowledge the holiness of other men and women after the time of martyrdom had ended. And that was another hundred years probably after St. Saint, uh, Saint Lawrence. 
And so we have another witness to us of that powerful love of God that, as St. Paul tells us, goes beyond any created thing, even the power of death. We come together as children of God and turn to him with our needs and the needs of the world. As they balance justice and mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, may they experience God's healing and peace through his grace and our care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may Christ help us selflessly give ourselves of ourselves for love of God and in service of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Those who have died, may they be brought into the fullness of God's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. And for the special intention of Gerardo Custodio, for this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. These prayers we have offered today, we ask through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread, our, the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become for us a spiritual drink. Let's be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept the sacrifice at our hands. We praise and glory of his name. 
for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, the offerings we had joyfully make on the feast day of St. Lawrence, and grant that they become a help to our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Your word to whom you sent our Savior, your word to whom you sent, your word to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you, you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have, that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all who minister to your word. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed... That have mercy on us all, we pray, that, that with the blessed, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with all the, with the, all the apostles, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you with, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer that peace to one another. Christ, peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
nourished by these sacred gifts, we humbly implore you, Lord, that the homage of dutiful service which we render on the Feast of St. Lawrence may bring us an increase of your saving grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 